When it comes to painting weapons, I have only one way of painting it. Lead Belcher, Null and Oil and a Stormhost Silver Highlight. And for the most part I can get away with this. But what about those special weapons that only a certain few can use? The power swords, the force weapons, the magical swords of the mortal realms that all stand above your average blades. So today I'm going to find out, can I paint power weapons better? In my last video, I talked about white armour and how I thought it was too hard to pull off. But I overcame that fear and was able to find a quick and easy way of painting it for an army. But with only 3 power weapons in my coastal knights army, I can spend more time trying to give them that magical look. When researching for this, I found a video on Warhammer Plus's masterclass about glazing by Louise Sugden. And in this she shares how she painted power swords by glazing multiple tin layers to build up a contrast on a blade. Now this is probably the opposite of how I usually do it. I'd probably start off with the lightest blue I could find, highlight the blade with a mix of the blue and white, and then somehow, for some reason, I'd find a reason to put a wash all over the blade, and then slowly start to regret my decision. I have practiced a little bit on some spare bits, but not enough to see a real difference. But the real test is going to be on the Andrasta's spear and the Knight Vexler's sword. Following the tutorial on Warhammer Plus, I started with Temple Guard Blue for the base coat. I always thought painters would start with a darker base colour and then build up from that. But Louise Sugden starts bright and blends it darker from there. I applied two thin layers to get a solid coat. Next came the important part, the glazing. I was worried about getting to this part. It was something that I had only tried once before. In total, I applied six glazes on four parts of each blade. The glaze was made up of an 80-20 mix of Lamb and Medium and Thousand Suns Blue. I started the glaze in the middle and brushed it up towards the edges or towards the handle of the blade. With each glaze I started further away from the start point, building up the darker colours further from the centre. With the glazes dry, I can see that some of the parts didn't blend as well as they could have. So that's something I'm going to have to come back to and try and fix before I finish. The next step I did was to really darken the end points and for that I went with an 80-10-10 mix of Lamb and Medium, Thousand Suns and Cantor Blue. Before I add the final highlight, I had to try and fix the early blends. Most of it was ok, but there was some hard separation lines of parts that needed to be fixed. I went back to the original base colour with a mix of 90-10 of Lamb and Medium and Temple Guard Blue, but made sure I was using as little as I could to make the blend seem seamless as possible. With the fix all sorted, next was the finishing part, the highlight. This is where I needed to make the right choice of colour to finish it off. And I went with Temple Guard Blue with a slight bit of white mixed in. I held my breath and as steady as I could I painted along the edges. With everything finished, how do I think I did? Are the weapons gold and demon calibre? Do they match the near perfect look that the heavy metal painters do? No, not really, but they're not supposed to. The point of this was to push myself away from an old routine and try newer and different techniques. Am I happy with the result? Some parts I could have done better and I really need to work on my consistency of the glazing. But that will come with time, but overall I'm really happy how it turned out and I'm glad that I pushed myself to try it. When I finish this army it's going to be remembered as the army that I really wanted to try and bring myself up to the next level. But it's not finished yet. There are still a few bits left to do including this little guy. No, wait, not this little guy, that's for another project. But this one is going to have me painting far different from my usual way.